Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer. We have Anheuser Busch, one and only, the world renowned Budweiser. Budweiser Lager Beer. Hops, rice, barley malt, water. Shake it up a bit in a can, let it sit for a while. And it turns into this bubbly liquid bread. Now a lot of people say, oh Budweiser is crap. All these light beers are shit. Well, excuse my language, but you know what I'm saying. And at the end of the day, it's drink what you want to drink, think what you want to think, and, and enjoy it. And do it safely. And don't bust other people's balls if they want to drink Budweiser. Or whatever the case is. At the end of the day, it's about what you want to drink and when you want to drink it. I actually like Budweiser. So we're going to go ahead and... uh. I haven't drank a Budweiser in a while, so we're going to go ahead and drink one now and, and talk about it. Share my experiences with you. See, maybe if you haven't tried it and you want to try it, we'll go ahead and do it. So it's American Lager. Very light. In color, very clear. These lagers, I mean the term lager itself, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's more than likely right. Is that it, it means stored cool right so to make a lager everything else for the most part the ingredients is the same the only difference is the fermentation process a little bit of the setting up process and the yeast you know you, you're gonna need a yeast that is able to support life during cooler temperatures because these things are fermented not in the 60s and 70s and even 80s in some cases some L's they go lower, you know, 40s, 50s, you know. Uh, they usually put them like in a refrigerator or some type of st storing cabinet, fridge or something. That way we can keep a low temperature and allow that fermentation of process to happen. Not just that, as they store it cool, a lot of heavy sediments start falling to the ground. It's called, uh, what is that? What is it called? Cold crashing, you know. Um, doing that a few times, hard sediments, hard sediments. You can get the most murkiest beer pretty clear by cold crashing it, little by little, little by little. Anyways, regardless of that, let's look at this. So it's very clear, very cold. Um, there was a lot of head, but it dissipated quickly. The aromas are more of a sweet, a lot of sweet, some grain. Not like corn grain, but sweeter. Not as, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to lie and say that, you know, I smell the rice up front because you really don't, but you start learning the differences between uh, adjunct lagers that use corn or some that use rice. They have a significant different aroma, but you can't say, oh yeah, I smell the rice. It's just a difference. And, and it's hard to explain until you just drink a lot of them, but it's not bad. It's a pr very pleasant, pleasant scent, sweet not alcoholic at all, uh, very inviting. The look is very inviting, cold, kind of traditional when you think about a beer, a nice cold, icy beer, bubbles kind of going from the middle of, all the way straight to the bottom and just popping up front. Uh, I'm thirsty. Let's go ahead and dive in and taste this. Cheers to the Budweiser. See, if you've never drinking like a Budweiser product or even a Bud like a Bud Light Budweiser, if you drink Bud Light, then you'd be able to tell the difference between Budweiser and Bud Light. If you drink, if you don't ever never had a Bud Light and you've had any other beers, then a Budweiser would taste like a Bud Light to you, if that made sense. So, because I've had drank Bud Light before, this beer is fuller. I, I mean, the body it's not even thin; it, it's almost medium. It's kind of like slippery. Um, to, to, on the palate, it kind of lingers around. Definitely has a little bit of alcohol back notes to it, because um, there's a, not a lot of depth and flavor. The flavors are a little grain, watered down grain. I can't even say there's hops in there. And sweetness, kind of like 
uh, very lightly sweetened tea, right? And a little alcohol on the back note. So you sh you're able to get a little bit more. Some people say, oh, they just taste like water. Yes, because beer are, you know, 90 plus percent water, but there's a little bit more to it because everything's subtle. So the f some flavors that you're not used to tasting in a light beer or some type of like American style lager are coming out. Very easy to drink. 5% um, alcohol. You can, I bought this like at, I think it was 7-Eleven. They have like specials all the time. Let's take another sip. You know, what I always get from these lagers are, I don't even call it an off flavor, but because everything is, it's almost like it's, it's being stripped of like a lot of the major flavors because to make an American style lager or a light lager, the key thing to it is how can we make it the lightest as possible? How can we make it the, the, the most kind of, uh, uh, I don't want to say dull flavor, but, but easy going beer drinkability is high that we can do. So what happens is you start getting a little bit of, I call, I call it apple, right? Like a sweet apple, not like a sour apple. Like think of like a red apple and biting into it and getting that apple juice flavor. You get a little bit out of that, which is not a bad thing. But other than that, that's it. There's not, there's not, not high hopes for not high expectations. If you're looking for a beer you want to drink and still want to feel, this is it. If you want to not feel it as much, be able to drink more, go for the, uh, the Bud Light, which is lower alcohol, and you could probably drink, you know, two or three more than these, and still be okay. Other than that, I mean, it's the Budweiser. Buy it, drink it. I like it. I like to drink it. I drink other beers. If you see my channel, check it out. Other than that, that's really it. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.